What's up dudes and dudes in the internet? My name's Seth and we are back again for some more Hat in Time and we're in the crazy free roaming level which is absolutely beautiful by the way. We just completed the gigantic windmill section which is over there. Yeah, right. So we're gonna be going to the mystic bell of destiny. I got my dog on my lap so you have to excuse me if I get a little bit distracted at any points in the video because she's adorable, but man alive, she's a puppy, so she loves having all that attention. I like how there's hooves climbing up the cliffs now instead of human feet, like in all the other sections. Aha! And we finally get to use our spirit mask a little bit more often in this map. That was oddly extremely close. We should have been able to make that, but whatever. Uh, unfortunately, that's what kind of seems to be happening in this section, which it's not that it's a problem or anything like that, uh, but the game is really starting to step up the level of difficulty, uh, and by which most of all I mean uh, it's wanting us to do some very clutch, tight jumps and stuff like that. And unfortunately, there is room for error on them, like you kind of saw right there, where it's just like, oh, our character climbed it and we made it, it's just, it didn't count because I wasn't like close enough to the ledge or whatever it is, right? Okay, so we got two options here. We can go over there and do absolutely nothing, or we can climb around all of these bushes and stuff, which I'm pretty sure is the right way. Yeah? Maybe? Wait, what's this? What? I didn't know these were chests! I saw a couple of those in the other areas. Aw, oh, man, really? That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I totally didn't know that that was like a thing. Okay. Well, anyways, why do they... I don't get it. All right. Is it because, like, huh? Sure. I, I guess the whole point is that we can... We can't climb all the way around that, so maybe we gotta just do this? Can we do it? Can you do it, Buster? Eee, there we go, I see, so that's why we gotta climb all the way around. Uh, and then when this ends up going all the way away, we could have ended up just using our hat to save the day and make it a little bit easier on ourselves, but whatever, that's okay. Whoa! It's beautiful! I love it! Oh my gosh. So, what's going on here then? Like, really, are, are we going to end up at the, like, a boss fight or something? Because this is looking pretty crazy. Uh-oh. Sorry, sweetheart. You gotta get off me. You're snoring. You're snoring. Ah, there we go. Did I say snoring like crazy? For, for some reason, because I was thinking about how my dog was snoring like crazy. I'm getting, like, really, really overly distracted. It's very difficult to commentate uh, when she's Welcome starving for attention one. like she is. Please make a purchase at my humble stall. If you got anything worthwhile, I will. Okay, automatically pull out your umbrella before falling in deadly impact and no more bonking against walls while diving. You know what? Let's just grab it just for the sake of having it, even though I don't necessarily want it. I guess it is a pretty good ability, though. Like, not being able to bash your head against a wall while you're climbing around uh, and jumping and platforming. That's probably a pretty good ability, honestly speaking. Probably would end up have saved me a couple times, but that's okay. We don't need it. So one thing, too, that I think uh, is kind of interesting is we could probably say we're in midair. Swap over to this just before we end up taking lethal damage. But, of course, I like the one where we magnet everything. I could reach it. Yeah, this definitely looks like it's gonna be some type of a boss fight. Uh, or it's taking us to the spirit dimension. Like, what's going on? Whoa. Whoa, it really did take us to the spirit dimension. Dude. This is sick. Like, this is really cool, man. I like it a lot, and of course we're gonna have to use this hat a whole bunch in this zone, dude. You know it. You know it and I know it. Man alive. Okay. Uh, uh, here we go. What is this guy? What's his deal? I don't, I don't quite understand. He's like, oh, I see. He's like blocking us from using our power, like, period, in that section. All right. I'm down for that. Interesting. Ooh, this level's beautiful, man. I swear this has gotta be like the last map in the entire game or something. Not necessarily this, but just this whole galaxy themed thing. Oh, that's a galaxy door. That's what that is. And a galaxy enemy, weird. Uh, time, time door, time shift stuff. 
Uh, because otherwise I ended up seeing there's yarn over there. Yeah. Oh, it just swaps it. And there's a locked door behind it. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right. Because uh, I saw one of those doorways inside our spaceship and I didn't quite know what to do with it. Whoa. Okay. I'm down for this. Uh, and then I guess the only way that we can actually go and get that yarn is we have to fall through, right? Ba 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 bum! Death is inevitable. Your time is valuable. Time stop yarn. What's the point of it? It can stop time and keep us safe or something? Safe from death? <laughs> That'd be pretty interesting and cool. I'm really curious to see what it's about. All right, well, here we go. At least this is like crazy different puzzle mechanics, that's for sure. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, I'm actually very surprised that we made it. I thought that this way was the way for the yarn, but I guess it's not because we're just going for, uh, okay. This is barely going to work, but it just did. Nice. The key, that's what I was about to say is what we were going for by going this way, right? Yes, we are. What is all of that stuff? There's that other pathway up there, right up there that we probably could have gone on somehow. I don't really know how, uh, but that's okay. Oh, there's another pathway as well. Well, we'll go through the key door first and see what this is about. Checkpoint. That means that's the right way. Oh, well. Uh, oh, interesting. That was cool. Okay. You think we could make that jump? I don't. We're not even gonna try, dude. Like, seriously. Aha. Another weird key door thing that we got going on here. This area is so strange. Like, seriously, it's so weird and trippy, dude. Okay, well, anyways. Um, we could end up using this time power. Why, why would we use it for that spot, though? Oh, I see. He's on a time limit. Okay. Why would I want that, though? Oh, I see, because then we can do... Swap the hats. Can you... Okay. Well, let's just do the exact same thing that we just did. Can you... Can you hit the bell? Like... Seriously, dude. Like, stop messing up. What is going on lately with this game? Maybe I've been playing it for too long. Whee! That's what I meant that we could do. I see that Ami hovering over my head. He's not gonna get me. Woo! Wait, so what's in this area then? Unless, hmm. Yeah, so I, I wonder, uh, is there more to this area? Yeah, there is right here. Okay, good. Because I was about to say, oh, that just opens it in general. I was about to say, do we have to go backwards to go and get the other key? But it doesn't look like it because it looks like here's uh, one of the keys right over there. So let's just activate that. I don't know what that does for us. Oh, very interesting. Like, I'm just kind of doing stuff, and thankfully it just seems to work. Because otherwise, I carumba, dude. Like, the, I don't even know how we're making all of this happen. Because it's, like, so difficult to actually see any of it. And then, let alone, it's like, oh, by the way, you just opened the right way. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, this is, uh, kind of freaky. Kind of cool at the same time. I like it. Oh, I see. They're all counteracting each other. Is that what's going on? Oh. Yeah. I don't know how that worked out, but, uh, it did. Yikes. Yeah. That was crazy, dude. Is this okay? This L, this ladder is active and weird. What is this about? What is this about? What do, what are we supposed to do from here? No, really, like, what are we supposed to do from here? Is there something we're supposed to grapple to that I just haven't seen? This game never, ever, ever has us go backwards. So, what's the deal? Because we ended up getting all the way up here, and now what? Yes? I don't quite understand. Like, there's something I'm missing here. 
And let's quite simply put, because if we jump back down there, that's just getting us, like, backwards. That's not a new area or anything. Oh. This tree is supposed to have its flags active uh, so that it can go to the other side, right? Yeah. So, I think... I think, I could be dead wrong about it, uh, but I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens. I think that we're supposed to have gone this other direction now. Yeah. Like, we, we were supposed to have done this first, and that would have made this end up working out, right? Okay, this is trippy. Okay, that's really trippy and weird. Yikes. Okay, well, anyways, ignore those weird enemies. That's just going to be an- no, that's not even an infinity bell. It's just active for a set amount of time, but man alive, it sure is a long bridge. We probably were supposed to be using our speed hat, because I don't think we're even going to make it. I don't know how that worked, but it did. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. See? So we had to go over here. Dude, that's not fair. Because now we got to do all that all over again, just because we didn't end up having this gong rung. It's not gong, but... You know what I mean. Dude, not fair at all, sir. Not fair at all. Well, anyways, at least we can end up getting back easy enough. Because we just end up going down here. Woo! Swap this guy around. Th this map, though, like this whole area, the free roam alpine blah blah. Crazy. So far, each of these sections that we've gone in, like even like the, just this bell area alone, each of these sections has taken up an absurd, absolutely absurd amount of time. But it's crazy because it's like each of these areas is kind of like its own respective like zone that's got, nah, okay, that ended up working out, but for some reason she didn't grapple, whatever. Anyways. Before I was rudely interrupted by the game being strange, um, I'm just kind of trying to say, like, it's like, it's really interesting and cool how each of the sections of the entire game have all been vastly different. And now that we're kind of at this last area, it's more of puzzles and challenges than any other zone that we've ever been in. What is actually over in the other direction? What? It, what? Oh, whoops! Well, there was probably a bunch of yarn all around us in those other zones, but whatever, that's okay. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Hello, Jump Jump Sweetheart. You completed the Twilight Bell. So that didn't take nearly as long as the windmill did. Granted, in that episode, we got through the whole beginning section. Not just, uh, just the windmill. But, whoo! Okay, so, um... Not exactly sure which area we should do next. What is with this well, like, overflowing? Interesting. Telescopes let you look at far away peaks. Okay, yeah, I already did that one, so thank you very much for that tip, though. Very cool. Oh, wait, here's another level. Aha! I don't think any hourglasses went this way. Then what's over here, you little freak? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, goat refinery. Treasure path! Aha! All right, I like treasure. Dude, the graphics in this game are so amazing. Like seriously, it's like one of my favorite games of all time, dude. Not only just because of the graphics, but just the game itself is amazing. Like seriously. Okay, where, where do we take this? Up? Up and over? Where do we go? I think we, oh, there it is. Haha. -ha. Up and over! Okay, that was a real close one. Like we almost died. Oh, and here I thought those enemies were floating on balloons. It turns out that that's their sleeping bubble, like them snoring and leaving that bubble up, uh, holding them up in the air. Yarn, you cleared the goat refinery. Really? Can we get a new hat yet? What are we at, 20? We need four more yarn. Ugh, really? That's kind of gross. <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? That's okay. There was probably some more yarn over there again. There's yarn if we climb all the way around those trees. I guess that means we gotta go for it, huh? All right, well, let's do it. Uh, hopefully, and okay. Hopefully I don't end up dead. 
is the real thing. Yeah, there we go. All right, somehow we did it. Alrighty, there we go. And we got a nice shortcut back up. Whoo! Which means that most likely, yeah, we if we knew that that secret was there, we could have just taken that. Interesting and cool at the same time. Okay, what is um windmill, lava? We got some other crazy platformy zone. What is that one that's way over there and all red like crazy? What is that zone? No, seriously. Aha! Okay, so we have to go this way in order to get to this spot. Let's do it! Because this looks interesting, dude. This is very cool. What is this? The Bird Pass Fork. The birdhouse is this way. Birdhouse is this way? Okay, then what's this way? Because I'm noticing that there's another path right here. Hey! This way doesn't lead to any peaks. Oh, it doesn't, does it? That means that it's going to lead to something good. Um, the hardest platforming of my life. That's where it's leading us. Huh. Like seriously, I hate jumping on ropes and stuff when we're like about to fall and die. Jeez Louise. Okay, uh, there's a yarn down there randomly. Cool, I'll, I'll go get that in like five minutes or something. What the? You said it didn't lead to a peak. Where's this going then, Buster? That little bird creature was a liar. There's a yarn or something at the end of this. The Purloined Village. At least it does just tell us straight up. Treasure. I like that. Uh-oh. Is it trying to show us that there's cats around? I hate those invisible cats, man. Those enemies are so annoying. I don't want to fight them. I don't want to fight them if there are any of them. They're so evil, dude. Just like cats in real life. Oh, dude, I get it. This game is deep. Okay. Um, ah, weird crow bird things. Get out of my face. Rip, slow mo brewing hat. Okay. Ha! Okay. At least I know how to fight them now. Yes! Yes! Got a nice chain combo on all those idiots. Jeez Louise. Okay. So there are invisible cats around. I still don't like it. Give me all the money. Like, seriously. Delicious money. I love it. Okay, so what is this going to be for? Is it just for a yarn or is it for a token, perhaps? Another chimney that we can stand on but not actually go inside, which I still find very, very strange that it does that. Yeah, did it. I did it. I'm the greatest and made like one of the easiest jumps in the world. Okay. What the? Hey, you stole my hat, cat. Ha! How dareth ye steal mine hat? There we go, give it back. And you get out of here, stupid spider. Okay, there's some other more yarn down there. Or is this the point? Did, what? Did we get up here seriously so that we could just jump down to that token? Because we could have done that at any other section. Oh no, we could just keep going. Ah, and there's our treasure. I see. So the token is just a random secret side item. And then this is going to be more yarn? Nope, another token. You cleared Purloined Village. No, I didn't. I still got more items to get. I gotta go and get that stupid other token so that we could potentially end up getting some beautiful legendary items, right? Hopefully. Ah, good. Goody, goody gumdrops. The jumping mechanics are great in this game. I love how you can just save yourself last minute because they don't even care. They're like, screw it. If the player actually does it, let them do it. Yeah. That was close. Ha ha. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll hold on to my hat. I know because the cats already stole it from me like five times. We. This is so cool, dude. Like, seriously. There, there's like... Triple A titles that aren't as good as this game. Okay, watch this. Yeah, that was close. Okay. Are we gonna die? Okay, no, we're good. We're good. Uh, so what was this about? Okay. That was kind of weird. I did press the jump button, or the grapple button, but I guess I didn't press it in time, so we had to deal with- No, I didn't want to go that way! I didn't want to go this way, Oh, dude! 
Oh well, maybe this is the right way or the treasure way. I guess we'll find out in two seconds here, right? Oh, this looks like a treasure path if I've ever seen it because it's so teeny weeny. Yep. Oh no, we got a horn here. There's a horn at the top. Okay, that means I have to go here anyways. Whatever. Woo! It's so cool how they managed to make all of these islands like so differently themed, you know? Like really, really well done. Ha! There we go. I need my double jump on the way back there. There we go. All right. Get out of my face. All right, we did it. We did it. I don't even know how we did that. These jumps are crazy. Like seriously, I'm terrified, dude. Dude! You think I'm gonna fall for that, Buster? I don't think so. That bridge almost tricked me though. Okay, that was surprisingly easy, which I like. I like the fact that like each of these sections is done so well and differently uh, that it's kind of like the one that we're on right now is kind of focused more on, I guess, puzzles? Uh, as opposed to that our area focusing on one themed hat. Serpentine something. Okay. Is there a shortcut back down? Where, 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 um... Okay, is this our shortcut? I think this is our shortcut. Yeah, I got it. I'm good. Yep, it is. Okay, cool. Woo! Let's get out of here. Yeah, this is definitely, this is more like a puzzle area, I would say. Or maybe not necessarily puzzle, but it's like kind of platforming, but also not. You know what I mean? Wait, there was a second pathway there. Okay. Yep, I'll go to the left. What is this going to do for me? There was another island back there that apparently I didn't end up actually completing. Oh well, we almost got all the yarn that we need in order to get that last hat anyways, and then we'll probably get to some other level. This is just treasure too? Really? Huh. Really? That's just treasure. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of scared then, because I, I guess that, that means that that other island that I saw must be the right way. And then this is just the wrong way for all the goodums. I I like free stuff. Like, I'm perfectly fine with that. Hello! At the birdhouse. I am? But it says that this is Treasure Island. Uh-uh. Okay. Ha! Skill! I don't know how that just, like, I, I don't know how I noticed to turn back in midair. I think that's a big reason why this game is, like, so tight is just the fact that you kind of have like a lot of control over your character with the jumping mechanics and everything you know what is, what's over there just just the health is that it oh i see oh i get it okay so we would have to go down here ah! blow those up but that's okay because we're gonna be going over this way first and now, yeah, we actually have to go all the way back. Yup, yup, Peroni. Okay, we got that one. Good. Jeez, I know my commentating for most of this entire map today or episode has just been like, oh, this is a tough jump, and whoa, goody, and blah blah blah. But I, I don't really have that much. Oh, I didn't get any treasure on that island. I don't really have that much to kind of commentate about, other than just the fact that we're. Doing just that, like, this is crazy platforming, dude. The birdhouse. Okay. Giant fat bird on our left over there. Scared? A little bit, uh, okay. Hello. There's a lot of really big structures up on these peaks. Uh-huh. I wonder who built them. Birds don't build birdhouses, right? Uh, they probably somehow did. Hello, dude. Not everything I sell is of value. Yes, you already told me that once before. Upgrade your speed hat to the scooter! Where we can use it permanently everywhere that we want. That is absolutely awesome, because otherwise we only got to use that as a temporary upgrade in the spoopy, scary, haunted level. So that is awesome, dude! So now we got our scooter everywhere! Oh, that's great! Alright, well, let's see if we can end up getting through this section without being eaten alive by a gigantic bird of death. OR EXPLODING BIRD! I knew he exploded, but I didn't know he would explode when I was on that platform. 
I thought I was safe from him, and that's why I didn't There's react. Strange about some of those eggs. There's something strange about the eggs, there really is. Ah, jerk face. Seriously, what's your problem? Can we blow these up? Or do we just sit on it and make it hatch? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Pathway right over here, don't worry about it, and a whole bunch of hidden little dudes and more exploding freaks. They- ah! Excuse me? I love how the enemies in this game can chain you while you're still, like, in the middle of an animation. Like, that's not fair. Bad. Bad little crow linger. Seriously, what is your problem? You're adorable, but just cut it out. Okay. Aha, so we have to use those guys to blow up the yarn, uh, blow up the haystacks. So we actually got very, very fortunate there in that we got him to blow up the right one that actually had the goodums in it. Awesome. Yeah, see? Big fat bird. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? There was something I missed, but I do see that relic in this other section. I guess we gotta get that from another part of the map, like a lot higher or something. Ah, I can fly around like Superman at times, but then other times I can't. Nah. <laughs> okay, there's nothing for him to destroy, so it's okay. Huh. Gotta get rid of that guy before he shoves me off the cliff, and you know there's like a million bad guys down at the bottom, I was going to say, but I didn't even notice that guy because he was like hidden behind stuff. Ha! There we go. What a jerk. Okay, what's this about? Another ice ability hat thing? Whee! Ugh! Okay. What's with these chains? They look really weird. These giant nails, too, are kind of cool, but kind of creepy at the same time. Like, what what do we do in this section is the real question. Can we actually make this jump? Yes, we can. I didn't even think that that was possible. This game just keeps on testing me to new limits and laying me see. Oh, yeah, that jump? Yeah, you think it's impossible? No, sir, it's not. You can actually go really, really far in this game. Like, seriously. No. No! I did jump and I did attack, but it didn't work. Okay. Let's just get him to attack his friends. I'm gonna climb all the way up. I don't even care. Where's bad guys? Okay. So we got a bit of a crossroads here. We can either go over there, which clearly is the right way, or we go over here for a bunch of treasure. I like treasure. You follow me to the ends of the earth and I will stop you. I don't care who you think you are. Why are these guys fighting each other? Like, seriously. Ah! I saw that up there. I saw that. I saw it. I just didn't react in time. Ha ha! Oh, we needed to get up here anyways. Good, so this wasn't the treasure pathway. This was the proper pathway. We needed to activate that. Most likely just to get, yeah, right across there to that big, fat, poor bird who's like... Oh, he's upside down. That's why he looks so strange. Is that... That's not yarn. Do we have enough to get our next hat? No, we don't. I think we're at, like, one left. Yeah. We only got one more yarn to get, and then we can actually get ourselves the hat time stop ability, whatever that is. I'm down for it. Okay, crazy weird enemies. That was weird. I was tapping X, but he was... Uh, our character was trying to attack. Uh, rather than just climbing up there like we were supposed to. Also, for some weird reason, we don't seem to be jumping properly right now. Which is a bit weird. We. Oh, okay! That's cool! I thought that was gonna be like a big boss fight or something. Alright! I'm down for that, that's cool. So, do we actually see whether or not you cleared the birdhouse? Like... I, I don't know, do we actually try and go for another zone today? That was technically only two, but there was also that treasure area. I wanted to explore that- Ah, oh, It's like long gone already. I wanted to explore that treasure area uh, before we ended up like getting out of that zone. But I guess that's okay. So what do we got here? You know what? Yeah, so before we end up going to the lava zone, uh, let's actually go back to the hub. Main three, time rifts two. 
So is the lava like death or something? Anyways, let's return to the hub. Because I want, you know, it's been a while since we've been here because we've been in that level, like never going back to the hub for like a million years. So I want to see, did we get anything new or cool? Uh, not to mention there's a whole bunch of different special things that I wanted to do. Uh, first of all... Oh, I thought that was a treasure chest. That totally tricked me. Okay, um, but there was this over here. And I didn't know that we were supposed to use our ghost mask on it in order to get through the front door. So, is this just gonna be a special level? Or what is this? It's just a spot for one of these, huh? Really? That's it? I mean, we've got lots of relic items, uh, not necessarily ones that we can end up equipping, or, or setting up, I mean. Like, I'm going to try to, um, as we end up going into the other section here. Because, seriously, I need it in my life. But, scooter time! Uh, and then eventually, uh, before we end up calling it for today as well, we're going to end up going uh, and spending some of our tokens and junk, right? Here we go, this is what I meant. See, so we gotta combine that one? Oh! I didn't know that you could combine a whole bunch of things with a relic. I thought you could only combine two of them. So that means we've got like three cows being abducted by a space saucer. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense then. Because otherwise, for the life of me, I kept thinking, Oh, no, we, we can't, you know... I, I keep putting down these stupid cows, but for some reason, none of it's actually working. And I try to stay away from the comments uh, as far as the spoilers are concerned. Um, not that I'm, like, not reading any of them or anything, but I didn't know we could do that. What? Really? Uh, okay. Is there, like, a specific order that we gotta do these guys in? Oh, we had to have the UFO first. Same as the crayons. We had to set the UFO up and then put these things around. Okay. And then all that does is just shows us, like, right there. Mafia Town. Or not Mafia Town. Spoopy Land. It's like, here's a special bonus section. Uh, the other thing, too, is technically speaking, uh, what we could do is go and do another Mafia Land thing. Because while that other area is, like, really, really cool that we were just in... Mafia Land does actually still have quite a bit before it's completed. So maybe we'll do this uh, Mafia Land in the next episode and have today's be a little bit shorter because otherwise we got the Golden Vault and then we also have this other Heating Up Mafia Town. So that's two other sections that we can complete and then I'm assuming there's going to be a finale but Mafia Land might be the one area that doesn't actually have a finale. I'm not exactly sure. Let's start using up some of our tokens, though. I don't know how much of these we actually have. New color? No, I don't want that. Ha! I don't want a Santa hat. Ha! Ha! I said, Ah, oh, man. Whatever, fine, I'll take it. Stupid new color. <gasps> Ooh, okay, that's cool. I agree with that one. That's actually the coolest color yet and really matches our mask. Nah. That's pretty neat. I kind of like that hat flare. But that's okay. I don't really need it in my life. Like, I don't need it in my life. Okay, I said I don't need it in my life. So let's re-roll and hopefully get something good here. I'm kind of just rolling at random and hoping it works. Ew! Ew! Another die. And it's gross, too. Well, hopefully we have... No, we don't even have enough co more tokens. Ugh! And here I thought, oh, this is kind of be cool. And then it's like, nope. This one? That was the one, right? Yeah, purple cape. I like it. So I don't know why I was coming over to my closet. I, for some reason, thought that that's what we needed to do. Um, I want to take a peek at this and see. Is it just going to be another time rift? That's what it just gave us, right? Yeah, time rift detected. Okay, so that's just going to show us where there's a bonus area uh, to get another time rift ability. Or not time rift ability. Jeez Louise. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? What's this? There's like something glowing right there. It's because we have to like dive into it, right? What is what is that? Can we can we use our hat uh, uh, ability like the ice ability? Okay, I mean I'm hovering over it like literally. 
Aha! Okay, pillow fort, what is this? Day 20, that was a really big bird cage and a really big bird. Oh, we could have been seeing like jokes about every single level that we've been in. It looked kind of too big to fly or move, but it was cute. Dude, we could have had like, oh man, that would have been so neat. So we could have had like story, uh, like kind of, kind of little bits of lore secretly given to us by completing each of the areas. Oh man, that would have been so cool. Uh, and then also, I just want to see this. Yeah, okay, look at that. We got one last area for 25. We're almost at 25. Okay, cool. And then we got all these other weird little random elevators and junk. But in any case, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. That's also going to build up loads of points by my merch store. Links are in the description for that where you can buy some shirts. Uh, and then I'm also going to put links in the description for this game if you want to check it out for yourself. So I don't want to stay epic, everybody.